the horses are on the track for race number five. They're going to go seven and a half furlongs for $11,000. Number one is Mizenhauer, owned by Black Diamond Stable, trained by Tom Gardipe Jr. with Shannon Beauregard. Number two is Eye Catching, owned by Hardball Stable, trained by Stephen Gaskin with Richard Mangley. Number three is West Princess, owned by Marvin and Deb Buffalo, trained by Marvin Buffalo with Stanley Chady Jr. Number four is Button Mushroom, owned by Henry Wood Jr., trained by Jerry Gorno, with Raviel Zentino Jr. Number five is Smokin' Bullet, owned by G2 Racing Stables, trained by Elton Dickey, with Edgar Zentino. Number six is Pretty Candy, owned by Meadowbrook Farms, trained by Wayne Eno, with Wilmer Galvez. Number seven, that's Simply Fabulous, owned by Back on Track Stables, trained by Jennifer Jordan, with Nyron Austin. Number eight is Storm Stride, owned by Garth Grider and Violetta Adamchuk, trained by Jared Brown with Antonio Whitehall. Number nine, that's Swear Vengeance, owned and trained by Maria Stanford, Sean Samuel Board. Number 10 is Camus Reserve, owned by Brian McKellar, trained by Ryan DeJarlis with Kayla Pizarro. Rounding out the field is number 11, Key to Glory, Owned by RT Racing, trained by Darren Hayner with Shamare Muir. Post time for race number five, kicking off $50,000 guaranteed. Pick four weight. They're all set, they're at the post. And they're off. From the inside, Mizenhauer breaks running early. From the far outside, that's simply Fabulous, who wants the front end and is going to get it. Swear Vengeance moves on the outside to match her. Stormstride settled back in third with Button Mushroom. Fourth on the rail to the far outside. That's going to be Camus Reserve, making a three-wide bid. Then back to the third wave. With on the outside, Pretty Candy in between horses, Smoking Bullet on the rail, Mizenhauer, and then it's a gap of about five more back to your three early trailers that are going to be eye catching West Princess and Keita Glory. 24 and 3, the opening quarter, and simply fabulous. Like in a half mile in 49 and 3, Swear Vengeance breathing down her neck on the outside. Making a three-wide bid. That's Camus Reserve. Button Mushroom on the rail to the far outside. Making big strides. That's eye-catching. As they come to the head of the lane, Simply Fabulous hanging on to a short lead to the outside. Swear Vengeance making a move. That's going to be Camus Reserve. And then to the far outside, eye-catching. Simply fabulous. Every pull, a witty one, but mushroom. A late surge, noses at the wire. Too close to call. Photo finish here in race five. Stewards have requested a photograph to determine the winning horse. They went the opening quarter 24 and 3, the half 49 and 3, 6 furlongs 115 and 4, time for the 7 and a half furlongs 136 and 3.
Results of the photo show the winner number seven, Simply Fabulous. Second goes to number four, Butt Mushroom. Third to number eight, Stormstride. And fourth to number two, Eye Catching. Now entering the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner here in race number five, that's number seven, Simply Fabulous. Simply Fabulous is a bay mare, six years old, by Vengeful Wildcat, under the mare Simply Marvis by Reb Mac. Owned by Back on Track Stables, trained by Jennifer Jordan, and ridden to victory by Nyron Austin. Time for the seven and a half furlongs, 136 and three. Number seven, Simply Fabulous, was proudly bred right here in Manitoba by Dr. Betty Hughes. In the upcoming sixth race, scratch number one, Artie in the Park, and scratch number ten, New Sasa. Once again, in the upcoming sixth race, scratch number one, Artie in the Park, and scratch number ten, New Sasa. Late pick three wagering here in race number six. <laughs> 